so I think uh, you know the 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 observation is that uh, the food industry is going to be impacted by these two mega trends. One of them is climate change, and because climate change is so real and immediate now, um, we have to talk about sustainability and we have to take action to save the planet. And we are doing a lot of things uh, all across the value chain to make, for example, our carbon footprint lower, uh, our packaging more environmentally friendly, um, our waste uh, should become zero or you know, as less as possible and so on. And I'm sure every company uh, you know, over here, every company in the world is going to change. A lot of the change is being driven by consumer preferences and consumer preferences are uh, informed by uh, what people see. There's a headline every day about which place is flooded. Climate change is real and here and now and so we need to take action yesterday. Um, and then the pandemic has centered attention on nutrition and what is good for you and what is not good for you. And, uh, Tarun spoke about it in the, in the last session. And uh, so, uh, um, I, I suspect that uh, the food industry across the board is going to undergo a period of rapid change due to these trends. And uh, in our company, we are, we are uh, innovating to you know, keep, keep the consumer happy with, the, with this on sustainability. You have to make a promise. Every company has to make a promise when they are going to become carbon neutral, right? And uh, we have set a date for 2030 for globally to become uh, carbon neutral. Um, so that's the kind of things that uh, we, are, we are working on. Um, at the same time, we have to provide food that uh, people want to eat. You have to provide it at a price that they want to pay. Uh, you have to provide uh, things that, uh, you know, that get them excited. Uh, so it's going to be good, nice, fun, challenging period.